there? An ad? No, just like, uh, O'Malley Brass, like... Welcome to O'Malley Brass! Yeah. I'm Dave! Yeah. She's I'm been recording this whole time! You're walking through while we're working. We took my scraper to O'Malley Brass! It's like Adam action. Sweet, sweet. Get a shot of Dave greasing his balls. I'm keeping Dave. You're keeping Dave? Just for greasing his balls. Oh, wow. Wait, that was so cute. Do it again. The in tandem tapping. Sorry, wait. I'm changing balls. I need smaller balls. If you grease them, then they get slightly <laughs> larger. <laughs> but they go in smoother, so it feels like they're small. And this is our new moving black hole. Hey Dave, that's a pretty sick mural. I wonder who painted it. Probably someone pretty cool. I'm a woman, Haley. For me? No. Oh my god. Gosh. Dave's working on the Con 22B and he found Boom. there's numerous holes that haven't been greased in this lead pipe. So now we call the customer, he's okay with us making a reproduction, so in under an hour, right? We called him about an hour ago, maybe? Yep, uh, we just gave the customer a call moments ago. Moments ago, seconds have passed. Now we get to make a reproduction pipe mandrel in pretty quick turnaround and get it on his horn, so. Wonderful assistant Dan, are you measuring this out for us? I thought Dan died. We have links that we keep around that are threaded for our drum venture ready. Dave Paul himself made. You made oh, some, some bulls. I'm just gonna offset our tool. We want to be pretty accurate with this since we're making it. So we're just gonna make a little cut here. Four fifth tool. One for offset. X point four five. Boom. Escape. And then we. Do our Z, and even easier, I'm just gonna... We can load our program. Nice old school technology here with our CRTs. Circuit. So we do it an inch at a time. Up. Make sure it's thumped because sometimes the collet likes a second. Lead pipes one inch at a time and they're perfect and it automatically generates the code for us. One of my better ideas that I did not actually do. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay, let that run. How's everyone doing today? How are you doing, Rico Fuentes? Want to go to Rico Benny's tonight? Guys, if you're ever in Chicago, gotta go to Rico Benny's. And if you go there, I'll probably see you there, okay? Rico! Rico Benny! You walk in the door, everyone does it. You walk in the door and you go, Rico! what everyone does. It's like cheers, but... It's like cheers! Kids these days don't know cheers, but old man Dave Paul knows cheers. I'm a millennial! He's yeah. a millennial. Look at the steel scrap on. That's what the steel scrap on. Look at steel chips we got. Wow. All from bell mandrels and random steel s*** I laid around. Pretty exciting. Bump it. Yeah. Let's go bother these guys. Hello, fine gentlemen. You're going to jail. Oh, we're going to go bother the father Andy. Hey! Oh, do something cool. Wait, hold up. She's a little dead be gone. So if you've been wondering why there are uh, legible social media posts and no longer stock photos on her website, that's because of Haley. It's exciting. And she does have a dog. So if you like really mean corgis, come visit us. Here's There's a lot of conflicting information about this dog going around. He's just a baby. He's an old man. He's vicious. So if you get an email from us and you get a response that has less than five grammatical errors, it was probably her. Also, all those boxes, if you get a nicely packed box with the packing slip and stickers, that was all her. No more me doing shit. I'm bad at it. I can't do anything. I'm bad at it. What were they for? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just a figurehead, you know? You know me, Mike Carr. How's that mandrel coming along? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Miles knows as much as he lets on. Halfway there, almost nice. Our band name is called Weird Al Yankovic. It's a parody. It's a parody. So it's fine. So it's fine. I have that much stick out, but it doesn't matter because it's like a Swiss lay and it's like a zero point cutter. 
I just hold it so that it doesn't vibrate as much. Because we're not actually cutting at a zero point, we're still like an inch and a half off the chuck face. So. If this were a real slits, it would like, the cutter would stay stationary an eighth inch from the spindle, and the whole bar moves in the spindle. It's pretty cool. You want to make really, really good leaf pipe mandrels? Do it on a slits. It would be fucking awesome. Now we got a leaf pipe mandrel. You just gotta give it a quick file and quick sand and it's ready to go. I'm gonna make this, cut this down to bore as well. Very easy, just buy a machine, make a really complicated spreadsheet macro, and then buy some raw material, and then like learn how to be smart, and then make Rico Frentas measure a leaf pipe, and boom, it's Kadoosh. You got it. Okay, bye bye.